My Little Pony is owned by Hasbro and DXX Media. Please support the official release. Welcome to my Season 7 Episode 3 commentary of My Little Pony French Miss Magic. Before I begin, I want to say I was a little negative during this reaction, and I don't mean to say that this was a bad episode, that, uh, that it was... I hated it. I just was in a bad mood at the time, so please forgive me for that, and please enjoy. Thanks. Hello YouTube, T-Sparks again, to react to Season 7, Episode 3 of MLP. I don't know much about this episode except the name, and it's got to do with Flurry Heart. Uh, hopefully this one won't be taken down by copyright like the last one was. If there are any songs in this episode, I will be cutting them out just to try to cut down on the copyright. And, well, that's about it. Let's see what they have for us this time. Oh, Princess Twilight, every pony at the hospital is so excited for your visit today. Nurse Redheart, it's nice to see her again. Sick foals. I can't believe a whole class just came down with Boy. the horsey hives. Sorry, horsey hives? Too. You're kidding me. Yeah, that's the not a very good name really there. Do need cheering up. We'll do our best. We'll bring snacks, I'll read to them, and get them gifts. Food and presents I wonder if that's like the up. chicken pox. We'll see you soon. Bye, Red Heart. Okay, if we want to be at the hospital by lunch, then we have three hours to buy get well presents, borrow a book from the schoolhouse, and pick up treats. It's a lot. Well, but if we that's stick easy. To the schedule, I know you have plenty of time for that. Done. Yeah, knock on wood. That door's not wood, Spike. Surprise! <laughs> Guess who's here? Oh my gosh! You're babysitting, Twy! How's my favorite niece? You mean your oh only God. niece? I was hoping my favorite aunt could watch me for a few hours. I hope you're not too busy. Uh, of course, Actually, Shining. Busy! Psh. Would the best aunt ever be too busy to spend time with this adorable little one? It seems they're still keeping up the trope of the man can't handle it, but the woman is perfect in it. I'm going to cut the intro out of this one, so this space will be filled with other stuff. I do like we're getting more Slice of Life episodes this season. It'll be nice if, uh, you know, we can see some more of their parents. Can't wait for that. Twilight's parents have barely been in the show, period. Alright, here we go again. Oh, Twy. You're so cute. Flurry, I've got a surprise for you. I got a feeling she got some surprises for you, Twilight. Just a couple of that was damn cute. <laughs> of course, Twilight. <laughs> you give her every present under the sun. I to show you I've done some shopping for Flurry Heart. Oh, you're so sweet. You didn't have to do all that. I know. But you're I like the uh, rich aunt that aunt comes in and just Open spoils the, the hell out of the kids. <laughs> Teddy bears for a horse? Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, Flurry's starting to learn really fast. Oh, come on, you can do it. Oh, not quite. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're playing with pears. We'll just put Flurry's things over here, Twily. Ah, uh, they're real parents. Here, take this thing for a few hours. Get it away from us. Extra diapers. Oh, and backup extra diapers. Mash peas, her favorite. She only had one diaper the entire premiere. She needs that much now? Oops. Oh, and this is the most important thing of all. Her ram. Ah, every baby's special toy which will make them go nuts if something happens to it. Just give her the whammy and she'll come right Ah, whammy. They even named it. All this, 
Whammy, got it. Where are you guys headed anyway? You remember my friend from the Royal Guard, Spearhead? Honestly, Is he friends with Hammerhead? His names are very similar. And Dickhead? Well, he has a pop-up art show at the Ponyville. Sorry Cafe, about that joke. We decided to go at the last minute. We're not exactly art enthusiasts, but we could really use a night out. You mean day? That's what I said. Isn't that what I said? Well, it is nice to see Cadence a little bit flustered way, here. I'm sure you can watch her. She's more like a real mom. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Have no fear. The best uh, now Twilight's going to try to do Everything both at the same control. time. And be a total disaster. Thanks again, Twilight. I guess as long as Flurry doesn't destroy Ponyville. Oh, here it starts. Flurry's demanding to play. Don't give in to her, Twilight. You gotta be firm. I wonder if Spike's going to destroy the Whoopie somehow. <laughs> oh, that's a nice POV shot. Watch out, Flurry, don't hit the wall. Oh, come on, Twilight, you went a little too far there. Uh, Twilight, you're just going to make it worse. Ah, it worked. You know, that was a very advanced spell for some pony your age. Looks like you're already taking after your anti Twily. <laughs> All right. I know a lot of people hate Flurry Hart, but I like her. I know, Spike. We're leaving. Oh, somebody's hungry. I just have to feed her real quick. Ah, uh, she's a real baby, all right. Won't eat her food. A lot of parents will probably find this episode very relatable. Is this art or a mistake? I uh, have no idea. It depends. But who cares? We're not changing Modern art can be either. Shining armor! Cadence! Are the new rents? Give me some hoof. Ugh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this guy. It is so uh, good uh, to see you dudes. Hey, thanks for coming. Of course, we're having a great time. Loving all the art. Uh, that's a trash can. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it is. I knew that. But hey, who's to say it's not art? Art can be anything that speaks to you. It changed my world. Art is very subjective. This is my latest piece. A thousand nights in a hallway. It's wow. a black I guess nighttime in a painting. Can be it's dark. not art. There is none more dark. Yeah, totally. You're we're a yuppie artist, aren't you? Usually we're covered in mashed peas by now. When they said mashed peas were her favorite. <laughs> this is a very, very sitcom -y episode here. Well, at least uh, we know they're not going to throw crap everywhere in this show. We know a real baby would. It's fine. We can totally do this. Just send out your minions there, Twilight. Make Trixie do it. Yeah, uh, Barry we Bunch buying a toy for someone. You wanna play, don't you? Spike has to keep her on task. Well, I know a game that's even more fun and more efficient. Uh oh, that's not gonna end well there, Twilight. <laughs> Better hope nobody cuts across the aisle. Come on, Spike, you can run faster hey, nice than that. Twilight? Best and ever! Hang on, Flurry. The race cart's taking a pit stop. Come 
And there she goes. <laughs> oh, flurry. Like a regular baby on steroids. I'm not a detective, but I think we got a suspect. Huh? Oh, well, we better get to cleaning. We've got no time to waste. You'll be able to fix it in a few seconds there. Thanks, but they were organized by color. Oh, don't be a bitch about it. <sighs> She's the freaking princess after all. Yes, we gained back a whole five minutes from running here. Yeah, but if you add that to the 40 minutes we were already behind, we're still 55 minutes Spike, behind. stop it. You're just going to push her over the edge. <laughs> Yay, team. Mm -hmm. The kids will be fine waiting a Thanks little bit. Thanks for helping us out, Cheerily. Sorry we were late. Oh, no problem. But I gotta say, I'm surprised you came to me for a book. Don't you have a huge collection? Yes, but... <laughs> Sorry, one second. Ah, uh, try out the Wilby. I didn't think the foals would be interested in the unabridged history of amulets in That's Pony Latin. Pony Latin? Yeah, it was good you came to me. How about the complete collection of Ponyville fables and stables? It would make sense that Twilight wouldn't have any books for foals. Alien alicorns versus space pirates? Well, the science there is preposterous. How about for Inferno? Warrior from within? Of course, Spike wants you to read stories about dragon heroes. Although, it's only fair. <laughs> Let's borrow that for you and keep looking. Eh, what else? Come on, Twilight. We ain't got all day here. You don't need to pick the Magnus Opus here. <laughs> Oh, she can do advanced oh, mathematics too? This great. baby might be the end. That was one of my favorites when I of was a Ponyville. Silly. We'll take it. Um, should I go with something more current? <laughs> oh, there you go, Flurry. Surely, I am so so sorry. I didn't even hear her leave. Uh, that's not that's better than her being smart enough to to do that math problem. There. I'll clean. Great. Now I'll just write it up again. With my mouth. Oh, come on, Shirley. You're an earth pony. You have to be used to it by this now. One's called a kitchen guard That's not journey. even the most disgusting thing earth ponies do with their mouths. This reminds me of the time Flurry got into the chocolate pudding. Up oh, there are typical no parents always talking about their child the even when they're not <laughs> that took there. To clean up. But remember how and then the uh Regular yeah, people are like, like oh, uh, yeah, okay, great. Can we move on? Whoa, art is so evocative. I wasn't even going for that memory. Score! He seems okay with it, though. Honestly, Twilight, I don't even want to tell you how late we are. Should I just cancel our visit to the hospital? How could you cancel it without going there and telling them? We can't cancel, Spike. The sick bulls are counting on us. And the BAE would never throw in the towel like that. BAE? Best aunt ever. Besides, okay, hold on a second here. I gotta pause. Alright, let's see how we're gonna make it there on time today. Gonna get candy for the kids? It's not good when you're sick. Hey, Poundin' Pumpkin. Wonderful. They're friends already. Huh. I shouldn't have doubted you. Thanks. Wait. Of course he did. Spike. You watch Flurry. I'll take care of everything else. I think he has it going. I need to pick up the cupcakes for the foals at the hospital, and can you do apology treats? I'm good. Here they are. <laughs> now, those look like the same cupcakes that she had in 28 Pranks Later. Treats. In my secret party planning cave. <laughs> of course, Pinky. Pinky! Remind me to tell you later how amazing you are. Cheerily? Yeah, I am pretty awesome. Cheerio oatmeal cookies with yellow sprinkles. Great. Can you write sorry on them? I've got a stamp for that. <laughs> okay. How does that work on a cupcake? Ah, brother and sister fighting. That brings back memories. Hey, Spike, pay attention. Hey, you guys. Boy, Flurry's awfully mature for her age. 
I wonder if they're going to ignore what happened between Pound and Pumpkin in their episode. Oh, don't you dare go after Flurry Heart. The sales pony at the toy store. Apple strudel cupcake with caramel drizzle. Well, at least they don't seem to be using some advanced magic. Oh no, you're making the same face Cheerily made. Oh, what a mess. Pinky, remind me what your favorite treat is? <laughs> of course, Toy Pinky. We'll take three of those. Aha! Too late. Twilight? Out of the question. We are not canceling. It's gonna be okay. It has to be okay. It's been so terrible so far that it can't possibly end up. Sorry. Uh, I guess that was pretty clever. No, I needed it. I was just gonna say, we're here. Oh, uh, this episode's a lot lower key than the last couple. And we're only four and a half minutes late. Four and a half. And while no pony had ever tried to reach Cloudsdale on it is one of the Dusty first the chances we've seen to see any kind of she disease in Equestria. Marched up the hill, but suddenly they encountered. <gasps> Obviously, what? their version of the what chicken pox. It? it was the treacherous Grogar. And Gusty could tell he was Better pay attention to Flurry there, Fly. To the unicorn warriors. Ow! Not right now, Flurry. These fools really want to hear this. Uh-oh. Flurry's getting mad. Things get destroyed when Flurry gets mad. And the unicorn warriors shot magical beams into the clouds that wove into one. The beams stronger than a thousand armies shine down. It wrapped around Rogar. She is being a little proficient with magic for being less than two months old. Uh, <laughs> saw that coming. Doesn't look like there's going to be a song in this episode. It's all right. Hey, it's Dr. Muffin. Twilight, you better pay attention here. Things are going to hell. <laughs> Even Twilight's being levitated and she doesn't notice. Uh, let's see if Twilight can overpower Flurry. You need to stop this. Get us down, please. Twilight, look out! Come on, Twy, you're an alicorn. Do something. There you go. Don't you know a dampening spell by now? These poor kids are getting scared to death. Put her in a bubble, Twy. Uh, I can't keep up with her. Oh, yeah. Where's her snoozle? Her what? You know, her wacky, wumpy thing, the snail? Where is it? They didn't say it calms her down. We don't see it. Oh, that poor kid. There you go, Twilight. Sometimes you gotta be firm. Is every pony okay? You have to set limits. <laughs> Flurry, that was very, very bad. You could have hurt some pony. I know it hurts, Twilight, but you gotta be firm. Flurry, I didn't mean to. Sweetie, you don't have to be scared. It's just me. See? You're scared of me. Because I yelled at you, like a big scary bear. Flurry, I'm so sorry. I've been a terrible. You've never done it before, Twilight. All how are you supposed to, to know play. how to interact and with I've her? I've barely been able to pay attention to you. None of this is your fault. It's mine. So much for being the best aunt ever. But I hope you know how much I love you. <laughs> oh, I take it you forgive me. Thanks, Flurry. How about we head home? 
After we find your whammy, of course. <clears throat> and Wait, they really don't show any reference to Twilight at all. This is a freaking princess. <laughs> Even if she did screw things up, shouldn't you at least show her some respect? It's small. Like her. I, I can't do this anymore. Spearhead. This has been great. They are definitely no more. a single My child parents because once you have more than I one, but knowing that I wouldn't know, but what you love, once you have more than one, you're not nearly as clingy what? to the kids as Tell you her. were with the first one. That's what my parents said anyway. Ah, hide and seek with teleportation. That's unique. Well, we've seen Twilight fly more in this episode than we have in several episodes. Oh, we missed you so much. Ah, now she wants to stay with Auntie Twilight. But it looks like you had a great time without us. Actually, not so much. Flurry got into some mischief. But it wasn't her fault. I shouldn't have agreed to watch her with such a jam-packed schedule. It was too much to Well, it's a good lesson to learn but for you, Flurry Twilight. Flurry taught me an important lesson today. It turns out being the best aunt ever isn't about spending the most time with your niece. But well, you learned a very important time. lesson today, Twilight. And she taught me a really cool bear game. So I guess I learned two things. Kids can be a very great and a very well, mm, horrible thing at the same time. Given you more of a heads up. Yes. From now on, we'll give you plenty of notice. Why not send her another snowflake gram? Hey, what are you doing next Tuesday? <laughs> For dinner, not to babysit. <laughs> I'll have to check with Spike, but I think we're free. Where is Spike anyway? Now that makes sense. Spike the reading to the kids at the hospital. The scorching flame from his snout. Then chuckled to himself as he flew into the sunset. If you can't stand the heat, don't fight a dragon. Hey, you kind of look like him. Thank you. Okay. Uh, don't now feed him too much cake? cake there, Spike. It's not good for kids that are sick. Well, I can't say I really loved that episode. It's good. But it seemed more like a sitcom to me. I don't know, I give this one about a 6 out of 10. It's an okay premise, but it's been in every single episode of every single sitcom ever. So, I'm a little disappointed with this compared to last week, but, you know, they can't all be hits. Well, unless this gets taken down by copyright again, uh, I hope to uh, put up another one next week, if you guys are interested. So, have a good day, and... Please buy the original show from Hasbro so they stop threatening me. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.